This is CNEagles.com. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, alongside Carson Newman head swim coach Paige McCord. Paige, congratulations. History has been made. The Eagles have hit the water for the first time yes. for the inaugural splash. What's it mean to you to ha A, have the event over, B, see some great times, and C, full house for the event? No surprise. I knew tonight was going to be packed. We've had tons of support from the community throughout the year, and we will continue that as we march towards the conference meet. I thought it was a good first show for everyone. Who stands out to you? It seemed like there were a ton of times that uh, were, were faster than you would expect from a program's first ever swimmer. They were. Uh, I just was told uh, Taylor Bing had a lifetime best in her 100 freestyle, which was great. Stephen Parsons really showed that he wanted to race uh, and showed up as a leader tonight for us in a big way. Uh, Amanda Henderson had some strong backstroke. We knew she would, she always does, but she really showed that tonight. And uh, I think across the board we had several strong swims. What's that a testament to? We've been doing a little bit, like two days worth of a little bit of sharpening skills, but really it's just their, their heart coming into it. They, they want to swim fast in college. All right, now you turn your attention from an intra squad meet, time for real competition in just under three weeks when yeah. Limestone rolls in here yes. on October 12th. What's it take between now and then to compete against an NCAA uh, opponent instead of yourself? Well, we've just got to get back in the pool, get to work, and get focused. Our big focus is always going to be conference, and uh, Limestone will give us a taste of our competition that we'll be, fo uh, we'll be seeing. Paige, congratulations. History made. Thank you very much, Adam. It's Carson Newman Head Swim Coach Paige McCord. I'm the voice of the Eagles, Adam Cavalier, and this is CNEagles.com.